Well, you know what is happening today. We have uh, uh, no digital market because simply we have 27 different sets of rules. And uh, a company which wants to serve the whole of the European Union, 500 uh, million potential uh, consumers, well, it has to uh, adapt to 27 sometimes conflicting rules. That is the reason why we do not really manage to set up a real digital internal market, which would be an extraordinary force uh, for Europe to do so. And uh, that is the reason why we eliminate this fragmentation. And we bring it down to one continent, one rule, and one data uh, protection authority who is responsible for applying this rule. That will be easier for uh, the company, whatever company, a European one or a non-European one, and it will be much more sound for the citizen who will know that I go to my data protection authority and uh, he will see to uh, that uh, my problem is solved. I think it was an interesting experience. Um, students in Austria uh, feeling uh, very upset with Facebook and trying uh, to get their right whatever they think is their right. That's another story. Uh, now, uh, they were savvy people, knowing to speak English and knowing the law. Uh, imagine a simple citizen in Austria. What would he have done? Nothing, except complaining to himself and to his neighborhood. Um, but fortunately, this was taken up in the right way, which means that the national regulator of Austria uh, together with the national regulator in Ireland, where Facebook has its main um, uh, seating, uh, we're collaborating together. Uh, tomorrow, this will be a natural way to do, but it will be much easier because it will be according to one law. So it doesn't count very much if the company is seated in Ireland or if it is uh, seated in France um, or in Spain. The same law will apply and the national regulator will apply common European law and will collaborate with the other national regulators in order to get that done swiftly and rightly and fairly. Absolutely, and we see that uh, these bright inventors are all over the place and fortunately they invent gorgeous uh, services. Now, we have to see that these uh, gorgeous services stay gorgeous and don't get out of hand. And that is why there is one rule for one continent and a reinforcement of the uh, data protection authorities so that if a company doesn't behave, they will have in future also very high sanctions so that the company will think twice before not behaving, and, um, but before uh, a sanction is going to be put on a company, of course, a company has to come uh, to terms with the National Regulation Office. But we tried to make the rules as flexible as possible because we do not need to change the rules every six months because there is another genius who has invented a new service. So the rules have to be flexible enough in order to be adapted to whatever new service will be invented in the future. No, uh, on the contrary, because uh, we believe that the online world has a great future and is a great business model and uh, it is also something which the citizens like. But if the citizens feel more and more threatened and feel more and more that uh, there is a misuse of their personal data, they will not trust anymore and they will keep the data for themselves. Or these companies need the data, it is their blood uh, stream uh, in order to develop their companies. And that is the reason why we have with uh, very simple, understandable rules, uh, make citizens feel that they can be uh, secure and that they can trust those companies. So it is absolutely essential to have this win-win situation.
between rules which are flexible enough so that a company can develop and citizens who trust the company enough so that they give their uh, data to the company.